please don't let me make a joke here. Please don't let me. I can't. I just can't help myself. Windows 10 recovery options, and I'm not talking about moving to the Mac OS here. I'm talking about what to do when something with your Windows 10 system goes really, really wrong. For a long, long, long time with Windows, here's been my workflow. I get a new shiny machine, often with Windows pre-installed. I install a bunch of crap, that's the technical term. Windows 10, or whatever version of Windows I'm on, is performing poorly. So I go ahead and format the drive and reinstall Windows all fresh and shiny. This is now like a new machine running great again. Then I can start installing all my crap. Microsoft is well aware that people are doing this and they're giving us a more robust set of tools that would enable you to do something like that. And I celebrate this fact. Let's go in and take a look. So here I am in the hands-on lab environment for this nugget. I'm going to log into our power user account. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings and we're going to take a look at the recovery options that are now built in to Windows 10. And like I said, it's just a really good thing. So if we go into settings and under, hmm, yeah, under update and security, by the way, that's why it's great to just search for things. You don't have to do this hmm moment in settings. I'll keep doing the hmm moments in settings because what I want to make sure you know is the full path to get to stuff. But under here in Windows Update and Security, notice there is the recovery option. So what I described for you, my reinstall of Windows 10 that I might do periodically to keep things running perfectly, that's made so simple because we can trigger it right from here. It's called the reset this PC option. And when you choose to reset the PC, notice you get a hugely important option here to keep your files. So apps are gone, settings are gone, but your personal files are kept there or remove everything. Now I know it sounds crazy, but if I were to do this, I would remove everything. Because my personal files, they're all in OneDrive. They're all in Microsoft's OneDrive. So they're protected. They're backed up, if you will, to the cloud. They're all set. I don't need the local copies. I'll blast everything off this machine. Now, I just want to impress upon you something here. And that is, I haven't done this yet for any of my Windows 10 machines. And I even have a Windows 10 machine that I'll be demonstrating to you in these nuggets that is an inside preview edition. So I'm running the version 19 something, something, something of Windows. And I have a version of Windows that is so experimental, it's going to come out probably in March of 2019, but I'm already running it. Are there bugs in it? Sure. The point I'm trying to make here is, even that machine has never messed up enough, a testament to Windows 10. The performance has stayed so great that I haven't had to do the reset this PC step. So I'm pretty impressed with Windows 10 stability and performance over time, even with a lot of crapware. Notice there's also the advanced startup options. These are very powerful. So if you go into the advanced startup area, you're going to see that we can just exit and go back to Windows 10. But what's exciting is there's a bunch of troubleshoot options. Notice we could reset the PC once again from here. But what we're interested in is the advanced options like doing a system restore, uninstalling updates, doing a recovery of your system from a specific image that you have to make a new recovery of your system, startup repair, and startup settings. This one though, I want to demonstrate quickly, this is a powerful command prompt. So this is kind of like command prompt safe mode in that we are going to be going 
to this very, very minimal boot. Right now it's happening of Windows 10 and we're going to be dropped off at a command prompt where we could run all kinds of system tools in order to try and repair the health of the system. We could do things like check disks without Windows truly functional around it. You know, all the different things that may have locks on the files and all that kind of stuff. We could do a system file check. That's a big one. The S. FC utility system file check to make sure our system files aren't messed up. So any second here, we're going to get to where we're actually at the command prompt so we can start troubleshooting. So it says, okay, what account are you going to be using? For us, it's power user. I have to input the password for the power user account. I just went to stick my personal password in there. That was pretty funny. And then, uh, so we drop in the password from the clipboard, click continue, and that's it. Boom. We're at the command prompt. A very minimal set of Windows components is running in the background. A lot of drivers and stuff have not loaded to get in our way. And then we could do something like the system file check. I think it's the scan now switch we would use with that. And it's not. Let's see. So we need to do... SVC, oh, I just maybe misspelled it, SVC forward slash scan now. There we go, got it spelled correctly. So what I'm doing right now is I am having Microsoft perform a system scan of its files that make it run and making sure that they are complete and healthy. And now I'm going to do something remarkable. You would never do this in production. I'm going to go up and shut the lab down. You know what? I can't even bring myself to do it. Even though this is a sandbox and I can't break anything, I can't get myself to shut this thing down right now. Shutting down right now is just so scary. I can't do it. You would never want to do that in production. I won't do it now. I will tell you though, as you've seen, there is a very, very robust set of recovery options in Windows 10 and we love it. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.